Uh, hi, this is my entry for the LabVIEW Hacker. First of all, I'm going to talk about the plant. This is a prototype I made of a twin router system. It is made up of a base and a mechanical system that allows us to do this movement. Uh, we can do two types of systems. The first is uh, a twin router system, and the second is a, a quadcopter simulation for steering. And obviously, you take this out and you get uh, an equally balanced system. The second uh, thing I'm going to talk to you is about the actuators. Over here we have two motors uh, that we are going to control with the electronic speed controls. And then uh, we're going to measure the, the position by this potentiometer that is in the back and we're going to measure also the orientation with this other potentiometer that is underneath. Um, this potentiometer is 10 turns I think and this is just 2 turns what normally is a potentiometer. Um, we are going to use a computer power source that allows uh, the 10 amps that each motor requires. So in total that, that will be 20 amps and this uh, 600 watts uh, power source can give us about 30 amps of of current so that's about the plan now how do I control it is with uh, this this is a, a, a self-made Arduino Uno that I made here's the microcontroller the Atmega 328P um, there's the voltage uh, regulator circuit if you don't want if you want to use it from a from a 9 volt battery source and two transistors to to see the serial communication. Over here we have a, a USB to serial communication. It is an FTDI breakout board. So now we're going to plug and now we're we're going to use uh, LabVIEW specifically with the Links uh, toolkit. Uh, I have already downloaded the Links firmware into the microcontroller um, because the computer thinks that this microcontroller is an Arduino. Uno. So now I just choose the uh, serial communication port and then I hit play. So uh, right now it's working, uh, the serial communication, and um, we have the measurements of the potentiometers of the plant. If you see right now, I can move this side to side, up and down, and I'm gonna receive the feedback that that, that change is made. Uh, then uh, you can look here that the program is pretty simple. I have two servo control channel because the electronic speed controllers use a servo sign signal and I have the analog rate signal from the potentiometer. Now I'm going to, to turn the, the power source so you can see how it works.
now the it is armed and we're going to increase the, the throttle so the idea basically is that this is a plan for a simulation of these kind of systems so I have not uh, done the controller yet but the manual control as you can see it's pretty simple so thank you for watching